This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Miss Carwick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's video, we're talking about cycle start and feed hold. Wonderful buttons. We're gonna do these as a pair because you use them together. Yes. Okay, so cycle start is take the program that's in memory yep. and execute the program. That's correct. The program does its thing. When it's done, it takes us back to the beginning. You change your part, you do your thing, close it up, cycle start again. This yes. is 99% of the time, this is what the machines are doing. It's, yes. You run the part, you take the part out, you press a green button, dur, 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 yep. you, know, you change a part, press a button, change a part, press yes. a button, this is the thing. Feed hold is chill a minute, but it isn't like, dear God, stop now! No, no. It's just, it's just I need a minute. The spindle will keep running, the coolant will stay on, it just stops the axes from moving. X, okay. Y, and Z, A and B, stop. And this will stop everything, like if you're in the middle of a tool change, it'll stop. It'll, the, it it's not a good thing to do. No, it, it, won't, stop, it won't stop the spin. Okay. But it'll stop when it gets this bin and it goes, the axes go to move, it'll stop then. Okay. You know, there's no reason ever to, I could think of, off the top of my head, why you would need feed hold unless you had a big fixture in the way and you didn't move the fix, you know, to do I the I was thinking change. that maybe you meant to do it before the tool change, but you didn't quite get it in time. No, okay. So, yeah, yeah. That, that kind of stuff right. happens. Um, but this is, this is a comfortable, safe stop. Very. Where this is... Emergency. Now! This is an emergency. Yeah. Things are... Things are very wrong. Okay. And this here is hold it. Let me check. Oh, things look good. Continue on. Okay. Oh, let me check. Continue on. Things are looking good. Is it going to hit? Is it going to crash? Did I touch it off right? Did I program it right? Did I pick up the offset? This button gets used a lot. It gets used a lot. And usually the paint gets worn off here like they do on this illustrious feed handle. The paint gets worn off because it gets used a lot. There'll be okay. where the guy's fingers will touch him. You see okay. a lot of worn off paint. I, I, I see these two used a lot yep. in conjunction with the rapids right next to them. Sure. I think there may be some thought processes why those are so cool. I would bet. They're pretty smart I, that I've way. seen a lot of people like, no, wait, 5%. Down to 5 uh -huh. and we're going to let... Okay, now we're, we're cool, and then you ramp it up. Yep. So, okay. And then after it's proven out, it's cycle start and go get coffee. All right, so one of the uses for this, a common one, is you'll use feed hold because you have to clear off some chips or something, something or right. fixtures in the way or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you want to make sure you're going to clear it. But if you if you just hit feed hold, it doesn't stop the spindle in that. That's correct. And sometimes you can't open the door. So you may have to do a feed hold and then stop. That's the, the right spindle. way to do it. That, yeah. Right. Um, there is some instances where it'll just reduce the speed. Right. And stop the spindle. Stop the spindle. Right. Yeah. Is that the machine really doesn't care that your your buttery little fingers get in the way because it, <laughs> it'll cut steel. Yeah. And unless you're Superman. Fingers pretty easy you know, to cut. Yeah, they come right through it. Okay. okay. Um, so feed hold and stop is the right way to right. do it. Right. Then you can open the doors, clear the chips. Or if you're worried about the tool going to get close to a fixture or how close you are to the part, you can stop. And if you need to look at it, you can rotate the tool. Yeah. And say, oh, yeah, oh, I have the clearance that I want to have at this point. Close the doors. Spindle on, cycle start. Excellent. Yes. All right, so that covers that everything. Covers, yep. That's, that's everything. That's cycle start, cycle There's stop. There's a couple other esoteric things with cycle start, but those are like in a probe. There's a thing they where you They can be covered later. Yeah, we'll cover those in a probe yep. video and stuff like that. All right. So, I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. 
This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.